Hey, what's up guys? This is Lex Ferguson. Welcome back to the Life on Oahu vlog. Uh, we are here in Ward Village today. I actually made a video similar to this about a year and a half ago, but there's been so much development in the area in just that time period. So many new restaurants, so many new shops, so much new cool stuff to do. There's new buildings, there's new everything that I figured we'd kind of touch base. We'd cruise around the area, we'd talk about some buildings, and we'd hit some of my favorite restaurants and just things to do. All right guys, so we're here in Ground Zero for Ward Village. We're right in front of the Anaha, which is one of the nicest buildings here. And then you got Merriman's Restaurant over here. I gotta give them a shout out. This is like the ultimate place to go for any occasion. Not only is the food epic and they kind of originated the concept of farm to table restaurants here in Hawaii, but the Merriman's are just some of the coolest people. The staff's cool and it's just a great place to go. My favorite dish if you go there would be the taco and country bread and pretty much whatever the lamb special is that day. One thing I think that's important to, to point out is that I am a resident of this area my building is just over here I my office is right over here so this is literally where you can find me roaming around on a daily basis and I would definitely consider myself an expert in this area all right guys so another spot you got to go to here is Kamitoku ramen this is god this is probably the best ramen I've ever had I uh, there's also some good spots there's Jinya there's Junpu'u in the city there's a couple but Kamitoku it's one of these spots that I think about it when I'm not there and every time I go it gets better. I don't know if they're perfecting the recipe that much more. It's only beef, they only do a beef ramen, but it, it's insane. Go there, get the beefy wild and uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Okay, uh, this is somewhere I gotta point out as someone that has a two and a three year old. Uh, Kid City, right here in Ward Village. This is like this ultimate indoor playground for kids and Pretty much anytime my daughter's having a bad day or whatever, I can take her to Kid City and she's super stoked out. For any parents with little kids, definitely come check this place out. Okay, so Ward Village is a 60 acre master plan done by the developer Howard Hughes, who's based out of Texas. It originally was for 22 towers, which that's a lot of towers. Now it's been whittled down to 14 towers, which is way better. There's currently six that people live in. It's gonna be 14 total, epitome of tropical urban living. This is, I can't think of anywhere else on earth that would be a better place to have an urban living experience. You could literally walk across the street and surf perfect waves during the right time of year. And generally, you've got the city right at your fingertips. So I could talk about these buildings all day. We could be on the ground, we could look up at them, but how about this, let's look at it from the sky. Okay, here we are, this is the Anaha. This was the second building built in, in the Ward Village development. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite buildings. I personally think it has the best amenities of all of the buildings, even though Waiea, which we're gonna go past next, is pricier per square foot. As you see, there's a tennis court, pickleball, volleyball, there's a whole golf practice zone. Once you're in the building, there's a, a golf simulator where you could go play any course at any time, disappear and go play Pebble Beach if you want to. The, the views from the front stack are second to none. and. We see we got this glass bottom infinity pool that extends over Merriman's restaurant. It's kind of one of the iconic images of Word Village. Um, I don't know, I mean, it's it's the only one in Hawaii that's like this and it's, it looks like something you'd see in Vegas. It's, it's beyond epic. Okay, so this building is Waiea. This is the original building in this development in the Howard Hughes 60 acre development. And this is, this is their elite building. This has the biggest uh, square footage in the units. It's the priciest per square foot. And um, I mean, this is definitely the most baller building. There's 36 floors, 171 units, 161 in the tower, and there's 10 villas. Just to give you an idea of price points, right now on the front side, there's a 16th floor, three bedroom. It's listed for 7.2 million. There's a 22nd floor, three bedroom for 7.4 million. There is, and then if you really want to step your game up, there's a villa, villa number five, that's 7,000 square feet, and that is $15 million. And guys, as we're going around checking stuff out, if you ever have questions about real estate in the area, if you want to learn about any of the buildings, go to lifeonoahu.com for all things real estate related on Oahu. It is the easiest place to go, and you'll be directly connected to me or my team. Okay, so this building's currently still under construction. This is Victoria Place. This should be done. Uh, keys should be handed out at the start of next year. 
Uh, this building's really awesome. It's like I said, it's it's not complete, but there's going to be three pools here. The amenities are going to be off the chart, and this is you know it's front row. This place sold out almost immediately. Okay, so this is the Koula. So if you look at the way that the building sways, like the way the white architecture goes, it's supposed to look like sugar canes blowing in the wind. Um, this building has 570 units, so there's a lot of units in there. It's 41 stories. Uh, this building is really cool. There, if you look at the amenities deck, there's an awesome pool. There's an outdoor gym. They've got a pool table. They, they pretty much have everything you can imagine. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a really cool place to live for sure. All right, so here we are. We're cruising up on IO. This is probably, this is my favorite building in Ward Village, dollar for dollar. Um, you can get like a really epic two bedroom in there for about 1.3 to 1.4 million. The amenity deck's off the chart. As you can see, there's a legit lap pool, saltwater lap pool. Then there's another leisure pool. There's hot tub. It has the best, it has, in my opinion, the best playground for kids. And being that I have a two and a three year old, every time I go there, I notice the slide. It's, uh, it's beyond epic. There's the three bedrooms on the front, this whole stack that's kind of sticking out towards the ocean on both sides of the 01 and the 00 stacks. They're, they all have en suites, three bedroom units with their own bathroom and it's just, it's just incredible. Uh, Whole Foods is directly underneath and there's an indoor entrance to Whole Foods. So if it's raining, you could literally go and get dinner to cook without ever even having to get wet. So the brown building over here, that's the Aali'i. Um, that's a really awesome building as well. There's a lot of units in there. Don't let the brown aesthetics on the exterior fool you. When you go in, the building is light and bright and super modern. It's kind of funny, like the exterior does not really replicate or doesn't give a good idea of what the interior is like at all. This place, this place has all the amenities and one of the coolest things about it is that the gym is on the roof level. So you're up working out on like the 42nd floor, whatever it is, 41st, 42nd floor. So you just have the most insane views while working out. All right guys, now that I've showed you the outside of Ward Village, let me show you the inside of one of the units at one of my favorite buildings. This is IO Unit 3112. This unit is a two bed, two bath room unit, just under a thousand square feet. Come check out the view. So we got a epic kitchen. Um, come in here, this is the master bedroom. One of my favorite things about this 12 stack here at IO is the fact that you get both mountain, Malka, and Makai views. Uh, so this, this view is not going anywhere. There's no future development projects that are gonna affect this. I love being able to see the weather patterns move in. And then an ep epic secondary bedroom with incredible mountain views. This would be the cooler side of the building. Uh, so you don't need to pump the AC as much. This unit is listed for $1.48 million. Uh, it's been on the market for a few months, so if you wanna maybe try to get a deal here in Ward Village, give me a call or visit lifeonawahoo.com. Let's make it happen. Okay, so one cool thing about Ward Village is that like, yeah, this is super high-end area, but I mean, there's also TJ Maxx and Nordstrom Rack, so you can come and get some pretty affordable shopping done. Uh, in here, if you hook in here, there's all types of cool little restaurants, juice bars, little souvenir shops. There's a golf store, coffee spot, all that good stuff, but everything's all really close to each other and you can pretty much get anything you need in walking distance and like i said earlier you could get done with work you could do some shopping you could walk across the street get some sun at the beach okay guys so in a prior video i talked about the best mexican in honolulu this is it it's right here on the on the side of whole foods like right outside of io and aali'i this is Tita's Tacos, and it looks like obviously it's just this like little stand or whatever, but this is, this is in my opinion, the best Mexican on island. Definitely give it a try. Hey guys, so we're gonna grab some quick lunch at Nori. This is like one of my new favorite spots. But if you check out over here, so this is the side of Ali'i. This is Koula. This kind of gives you an example of what's coming. There's all these epic little shops. There's an Italian restaurant. There's a Pilates studio, all types of stuff. We're gonna go check out this park. And there's just, there's, that's where the park at Ward Village is gonna be. And so it's gonna keep continuing as new buildings go up and it's just gonna keep getting nicer and nicer. 
Yeah, guys, so we're here in one of my favorite new spots in Ward Village. This is Nori. Uh, this is obviously sashimi. This place is pretty epic. You don't actually have a waiter. You do everything on your phone. You scan the QR code, and then you just order on your phone, and you pay on your phone, and you dip. It's super efficient and super high quality. Hey, guys, so we're in Victoria Ward Park. So this is gonna kind of be like the little mini central park of Ward Village. So we got Koula here. This is gonna be the park at Ward Village. It's actually the name of a building. It's gonna be right here. Uh, eventually there's going to be Mahana over here and on the front end over there there's going to be Kalai. But the park's going to run all the way down to Ala Moana Boulevard so on the other side of Awahi Street right here the park's going to extend so it's going to be a lot of green space and then once you get to Ala Moana there's going to be a bridge going over a walking pedestrian bridge that'll go to the harbor so if someone wants to have a boat here and access it by foot they can. All right, guys, thanks for coming and checking out Ward Village today. I'm going to go catch some meetings, and I hope everyone has an awesome day. Again, if you've got any questions about Oahu real estate, go to lifeonoahu.com, and please subscribe to the channel for more content. Have a great day.